Welcome back to Let's Play Chronicles of the Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate, in Ant's Edition. Last time, remember? Well, we were here. And now we're going to take another trip across the seas to the very place that Major sent his father. You've acquired your own ship to use where, whenever you wish. You'll be given options of which destination you wish to go. Steering the ship is done automatically. Where do I want to go? Cenefaria, please. I like this. I, I really do. I actually do like this. Now that's powerful. So we heal all the poison. Well, at least the good thing is we get some experience out of these battles. These random battles. Hopefully on the next turn. Thank you. I was asking about my next turn. Oh, you bastards. Anytime soon would be nice. Ah, uh, good. This finally gives me a chance to actually heal and run out our pitch post guys. Darkwell Estate. This is Darkwell Estate. We have just now settled here and helping to create a thriving kingdom of our own thanks to our Impatrix. Impatrix, huh?
it's a bell in here. I wonder how long the Imperatrix is going to pull this one out. As long as it takes, doll. Let's see, what's in here? Nothing, I thought something was in here. Oh well. Let's heal. 200 gold, fine. A little steep, but eh, doable. So I think it's good that we save here. Oh, there was a reason why I wanted to go there. Yeah, there's a reason why. I don't know why I left, but, um... There's a reason. The Empertrix, she is in the largest building here. The Empertrix of Manor. Empertrix Sapphire Darkwell. It has been a long time indeed. Sapphire, you look like you're making your mark here in Cenefire. Empatrix? Nice to meet you, Empatrix. So, what brings you all the way here? I doubt you would come here just to visit your ex-wife, eh, mages? We are looking to acquire the Inferni Diadem to get into Valtrace and slip past their patrols. We need that diadem. I see now why you are here then. The diadem you are searching for is located within the tower to the east. However, it is heavily guarded. That and it is sealed. There must be a way to get in that, that tower. There is! I know the incantation to unseal the tower. I'll have to come with you. Impatrix, since you are going to be joining them for this venture, I wish to speak with Lady Grey, if I may. I have information for her that she must hear. You do? How do you even know me? That is Damon Ved, my first knight. He came to us from the Rim Kingdoms. If he has information for you, then it would be wise to listen to his words. Mages, my love, I know. Mages, my love, I need to know what this man knows. I will remain here while you head to the tower. I will ensure the lady's safety while she is here. I have no word. Are you sure, Lena? I'm sure, my love. Get the diadem. I will be waiting. Let us head east to the tower, then. Not a bad trade. We get Sapphire Darkwell in exchange for Yelena Gray. So, in that case, we're going to put her in our party like so. I mean, let's look at her stash, shall we? She has a wrap bow and a magic robe and a magician bracelet and a circlet. And she is level 15. Everybody else is just slowly getting up there. Slowly but surely getting up there. Four skills she has, ooh, Poison, Silence, Confusion, Sleep, Ignis, Inatera, Ignisite, Frigis, Frigidana, Figara, Thunam, Thunas. Quite a large selection, I like that. So, twas worth the trade? Oh yes, twas worth the trade.
and we find an ether. And since there is no weapon shops here, we must leave. So now we are going to head east. Why east? Because there's a tower we must meet. Desert Puppet. Nah. Uh -huh. about some ice. Man, that's cold. <laughs> Seriously. probably wondering why well you don't want to know why you'll probably see why they got separated okay here we go that is in Saruta open the way unsealed the tower is now unsealed let's do this Cenafar Tower. Really, guys, must you do that? Guys, chill. I would think, you know, from close from close range, you're just like, well, from that range, you just go like, pull a bullet. Just pull a arrow in their eyes. Why am I thinking bullets? <laughs> I'm thinking of that other guy. Ha ha ha. Oh, this place. Why gotta be like that, man? Why does it have to be like that? Would you like to incite my wrath? to incite some wrath. Bastards. Yeah, they should give us something. I mean, damn. Let's go 
up here. Pretty sure I'm gonna be hitting level 15 no time soon. Short work, as always. And in this chest we find a thunder staff. Very nice. Oh yes, definitely. And we have come to the part of the game in which it says, we will simply fuck you over. If you're not careful. Well, that works. Why for therefore you had to confuse my woman? Why for therefore you had to confuse me? I'm already confused, man. Why must you therefore confuse me? There's no reason for you to confuse me. Um, oops. <laughs> sorry, mages. We're sorry. Why'd you do that to yourself? You know what? No, you not know why you did that. Therefore, you must know why you did it. One orc, thank you. That was too hard. You 
think after all that, you would give me some reasonable experience. You are an ass, sir. You are an ass. Why for you hit me? Do you know who I is? Very nice. And Zeria has acquired the skill of beauty. And before we continue, I'm really gonna have to feed you some effort soon. Thunderblade! goes up. Says, yeah, sure, you can have it. Let us have special tan. Nice damage. Curious and curious, sir. Chill. No, really, chill. And Mage has leveled up. And I better heal her. Yeah, that's a good idea right now. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
excuse me. Get a mint potion. Oh, come on, guys. Having ice is just real, it's really just making short work of these guys. I'm hoping we get to a crystal pretty soon. Immediate there. Just wait until we... Guys, just couldn't wait, could you? How many times? How many times now? Okay, I'm going to do this again. Thank you! Jeez! I 
I think it's for the interest of fairness to say, do not hit. You know, just have a big signpost right there that says, do not hit. Had to. That's an ugly thing. We beat them and they give us nothing. Jackasses. The door is sealed, yet there is a large, yet there is a space large enough next to it for a small object to be put inside. Choose which item to use. How about the ancient room? Placing the ancient room inside the space next to the door, it suddenly glows brightly and shatters. The door is now unsealed. Well now. I sense something is coming up, so I am going to use a tent. And save. And up we go. Been a long time, my son. A very long time. Father. You have grown. And I see you are not alone. I am Major's wife, Zeria. So your exit is. I am Isis, daughter of Major's and Zeria. You are my grandfather, unfortunately. So you're the one that has been holed up in here for all these years. I've heard about you. Can't say I'm impressed either. What an interesting following you have there, my son. Stop calling me that. I am not your son. You are a pathetic and pitiful excuse for a man who calls himself my father. Now move aside, Exodus. We have more important business to take care of at the moment. Well, now I am afraid, dear boy, that is where you are a bit wrong. You see, where while, I, while in exile, I've kept to date on the matters of the world. I know what is going on, and I have a good idea why you're here. The diadem is up ahead, guarded by a fiend that you have no hope against. Of course, I cannot let you go any further either. You really are just another asshole. <laughs> Saying what I am thinking again, Zeria. Exodus, why hinder us? Why, my dear, this is easy enough to understand. I destroy you, then I contact Lord Zeeksor, informing him of the good news. In no time at all, I will be free of, it, of this exile, and once more strike fear into the hearts that would dare oppose me. Enough of this. I did not kill you before, because I thought it was good. It was too good for you. Now, though, I think it is befitting a befitting fate for one such as you. Goodbye, 
dear father. This is all we have left then. Your time on this mortal coil is through, my son. Remember on the first part, we had to take him down just to prove something? Now we gotta take him down again just to prove something. And that Ignatera is nasty. And this time I'm going to basically just make sure everybody stays up. How about some Fijidana? Nice damage! Oh, this again. Ooh, thank you. I received that. And I raised your double. Oh yeah, let, let's try Fury. I have Fury! Well, I like that right now. Because basically, if you nail it with Venom Strike, or Venom Slash, however you like to call it, you got this battle. And thank God he can't heal himself. Damage being dealt on him. Back at you. Establish this. <laughs> what have you dropped for us? Exodies, Bane's Promise, and Elixir. Damn you, mages! You were once a great man. That is the only pleasant memory of you I shall keep. You cannot go to the hills just yet, Exodies. Who was that? You will. Come to know me well if you survive long enough. <laughs> Mages, who or what was that? Is Exidy still alive? I do not know, Sapphire, if he is still alive. It will be because of that presence. Father, we should go back downstairs to rest before proceeding onward. Exidy spoke of a fiend guarding the diadem. We had best be careful. Agreed. Let us rest on the floor below. 
I'm not going to actually turn an, turn an idea down like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. And stop. And in the next part, we're going to see what lies beyond Exodus. When let's play Chronicles of the Dark... Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate, Enhanced Edition, returns right after this. <laughs>